Hi, my name is Mark Mayo, and we're going to service an Avet JX63 reel today. It should take about 10 minutes, uh, and you should do this after every fishing trip. Need a screwdriver? I like the Mega Pro screwdriver. Has a bunch of bits. Fantastic. You need a Phillips bit on it. Need some Q-tips, some blue tape, some Inox MX3 grease, or another oil or good one. Some grease, and you should make sure you have some Avet washers. These are the washers that will be inside of there. Having spare ones will save you from going uh, not having your real work. First step is to make sure you tape your line down. The line has to be even with the top here. If you bunched it up in the middle, take it off, rewind it, put the tape on so that it... Make sure the reel's in free spool. There are three screws on the side. Unscrew them. The beauty of the Avet reel is three screws and you're done. You want to take the screws off. Sometimes they stick to the screwdriver. Sometimes they stay in here. Whatever you do, you want to get them all together. Verify you've got three of them. There are three screws. And you pull this apart. It comes out smoothly if this line is even. Take a paper towel and clean out the inside of the frame. You want to make sure to get all salt, all material that's there out. I usually take a drop of fresh oil, rub it all in the inside to give a thin sheen. When I'm finished, then I start working on the bottom. You want to remove these real nuts. Make sure all of this is free of corrosion. Add a drop of oil to each of the threads to make sure that it'll work. Reassemble it. Salt collects inside of the end of these real nuts, so be sure they're clean. If you need to, use a Q-tip. The frame is finished. Start working with the, the next part, the handle, the side plate, and the spool. Make sure this is in free spool. Hold it, especially holding this little T-nut that's back on this side with your pinky finger or some other finger. Take this off. Make sure that spring is handy. Pull off the drag lever and carefully remove this. Set it down. Next is the drag plate. You can see a bearing trying to come off. You want to get all of these components to come off, especially these two washers. There are the two washers, the spring, and the two bearings. Hiding here is a spacer sleeve. Be real careful at this point. You want to push this out, but you want to make sure this end of this, from this little hat structure, spacer washer, and these little Belleville washers, is safe and all together. You can clean this now, add a drop of oil to it, rub it back and forth. That's in good shape. There is a bearing inside right here. I use this gently to push it out. If you have a highly colored reel, a pink reel, a black reel, this may not come out. Just leave it in there and oil it in place. I put three little drops of oil on it. Push it back in. It'll make a noise. Thread this through and push down. Mine already made the little noise, indicating it's in good shape. Put on the spacer washer. Now, two drops of oil on the bearings. Thread it on. Push it down. Don't worry that it doesn't go all the way. One of these tiny little washers, which are easily lost. A spring. Another washer. The washers will like to touch you and stay with you, so be careful. Put two drops of oil, and as a friend of mine learned, there are big and small drops. You like small drops. Push this down. I suggest at this point wiping the drag washer and also wipe off the drag plate. If you want, you can clean this little recess where the bearing is going to go. Put this back on. Push it down. This is the T end. It moves back and forth. You want it centered. You want it to fit into this slot. 
that's cut out for it. So this goes in here, turn it till it falls into place. Set that aside and start working on the side plate. I'm going to take these gears out. They have a habit of falling out sometimes. There are three gears, one, two, three. Now clean this. Get all salt and residue. Take a Q-tip and go all around in this area where this S-shaped dog uh, connector is. Be real careful of this. It can easily be caught in several places. Once you get it clean, again, you could put a drop of oil, rub it around, make sure it's all coated so that the next time you service your reel, it's in good shape. To assemble the gears, you start with the uh, pinion beer gear, small. There's a small end and a large end. Put the small end down inside. Second is a large pinion gear. There's a square side. There's a cutout side. The cutout side goes over the small pinion gear, clicks into place. Lastly, this is the dog. The dog has a square cutout in it it's this way and you test it to make sure that it stops your reel from going backwards that means I put it in correctly if at this point you can turn both directions equally flip this over and get it in the right orientation so this is done this is done put the two together make sure the holes are aligned hold it together turn it and it makes a click Hold it together, put a screw in, verify that this is together, and then it turns forward, but not backwards. So you're in good shape. Again, put a little more pressure on the screws. Don't tighten them down all the way. There are three. So here's the third one. I'm going to verify a couple of things. The handle goes forward, but not backwards, and the reels, the uh, spool spins. That means that we're in good shape. Tighten this. Make all of them tight. But again, some of you are stronger than me, not stupidly tight. It's fine. Now grab the uh, uh, drag lever. Put it in place. There's a little structure that has to be spun. It should be against that stop. There's a spring on here that goes down. Turn this knurled drag tensioning knob. You'll hear some noise. Put it in gear. Should go forward. You bring it out. Should spin. Most of you will see that your reel spins better than it did before. So at this point, you can check your dog, your drag, and make sure it's in good shape, and the reel's finished. Having a handle spin like this means that you need to oil it. Put two drops of oil right here and spin the handle. While you're fishing, you might bring some oil with you to do that. If it ever doesn't spin, you need to take this whole handle off, which is a whole other issue.